Hello, this is Eric from Graspable Math, and I'm going to show you how to use the Graspable Math sidebar. So this is a Chrome extension that you can use to work on math that you find on Wikipedia or other web pages. Once you've installed the Graspable Math sidebar, you can use this icon here to open it on any web page. So you can now use this area to draw and to erase things, but more importantly, you can also drag static math expressions from Wikipedia into the sidebar to turn them into dynamic objects. As an example, I'm going to drag this slope-intercept form of a line into the sidebar. And as you can see, now that it's in here, I can pick up terms and move them around, which will trigger mathematical steps. Another way to get mm, formulas into the sidebar is to enter them up here in this field. In this case, I'm going to enter this mm, normal form of an equation. And just to show you the kind of things you can use Graspable Math for, um, I'm going to work through transforming the normal form of this equation into the slope-intercept form. So I'll move this part here over to the other side of the equation and then divide by b, pull out the c part, pull out the x, and that already brings this equation into a form which is structurally very similar to the slope-intercept form. And we can see that this part here is what the slope corresponds to, and this part here in the back, this fraction, corresponds to the intercept. One of the things that Graspable Math does is keeping track of all the steps you go through. So if I pull down this handle here, I can actually look at these steps. And if I switch to scrap mode, I can inspect some of the terms and visualize their traces through the whole derivation. So here I can see that the B term actually influences both slope and intercept, while the A term just influences the intercept. And why that is? Now when you start using this sidebar, there's two more things I want you to know. One is this help menu can really be useful if you're getting stuck somewhere, or if you want to learn more about how Graspable Math lets you trigger mathematical actions using MOS gestures. The other thing is this share menu here, and it actually lets you save your work and come back to it later by publishing it and sending a link to it to yourself. Okay, so I hope you'll find the Graspable Math sidebar helpful. If you run into any problems or have questions, feel free to contact us and we'll get back to you.